Hey. What's up everyone, Munching Orange here with another Pokemon training card game unboxing and actually the very first one that I'm doing here from my new room so you might notice the whole setup and everything is very different and a tour of that is coming very soon but for today we have got the brand new expansion that came out maybe like a week or so ago breakthrough for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire man it is crazy that it's been so long since Ancient Origins came out and even since all the way back Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is almost already a year old and that is crazy so here we have breakthrough and I'm really excited to open this one because they actually introduced a whole brand new type of Pokemon card in it I actually don't know much about break evolution but I hope that we can find one of those cards at least in here so we can check out exactly what it's all about and you might notice that we're actually doing an elite trainer box today as opposed to a booster box which would have a whole bunch more cards I decided that we should actually start off with something smaller so we can get a little glimpse of what breakthrough has to offer and then if you guys would like to see later on a whole booster box which is of course 32 or 36 booster packs let me know and leave a like if you would like to see that as well if you are excited for this because I know that I am so let's get right on with it and try to open this little box I actually pre-opened it this time because I always struggle so much to wrap or unwrap plastic that I just decided you know what forget that we're gonna have it unwrapped already so toss that away and like every elite trainer box um, if you guys have seen any previous ones on my channel, you might know exactly what is in here. But just in case you're new to Pokemon trading cards, uh, the Elite Trainer Box I think goes for $40. And it's actually the perfect thing if you want to try to get into playing the Pokemon trading card game. Which I've actually been doing a little bit of lately because it not only comes with 8 booster packs uh, of the latest expansion, Breakthrough. Or whichever one you guys, you know, they make Elite Trainer Box for every single expansion. But it also comes with these really, really awesome card sleeves. And I'll show all of this to you guys a little bit later on with a zoomed in better look in the camera but it also comes with some die which you can use as damage counters if you play the game I can't even get them open so that's great but a total of eight booster packs come in the elite trainer box and finally you get a whole bunch of energy cards which of course without energy what can you do man Drake can't do anything so you probably can't do even less but you get a lot of energy that's pretty much it there's uh oh actually never mind there's uh, these little poison and damage counters I forgot about and a little squiggly piece of cardboard so I forgot one thing in the box and that's the online booster pack codes that always come inside of every booster pack so I think there's nine of them total here so if you want a chance to win one of these and see the code on the other side tweet at munching orange on Twitter or twitter.com slash munching orange and you will enter for a chance to win one of the codes also there's two cameras so check it out I got the code right here and then I got the code right over here how does he do it I don't smash it dude so with this newfound magic, I want to show you guys uh, the little things that come with it before we actually get into the cards themselves. So here is the dice or die. I always tell have people tell me different ways uh, how to say it, but it has a pretty cool design. It has two E's, I guess, facing each other. It might actually be a lot clearer to see the design on this one. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but they always have a different design on the little die. Uh, the rest of it is just normal, but for this one, we got that symbol, which is actually pretty weird and then for the uh card sleeves we have mega mewtwo y i'm actually a huge fan of mega mewtwo y as i was saying and it would actually make more sense if i open this up but there you go it's mega mewtwo y you can put your rare cards in here so hopefully we get some rare cards as we open up some of these packs here we have a total of eight of them and let's see what we got we got mega houndoom here uh mega mewtwo x Mega Mewtwo Y upside down, another Houndoom, and I believe the last one uh, will actually feature that new evolution that I was talking about. So yeah, we got Mega, or what is it? Not Mega, uh, Break Evolution, Zoroark there. I still don't know what it's called. I should have probably researched this. Or I could just do it right now because, you know, we have this great invention called the internet and you can look things up and it is just, ah. Well, it turns out Break Evolution is actually even more so like going Super Saiyan than Mega Evolution. So hopefully we do get one of those break cards so I can show it off. I think there's probably more than just Zoroark, so hopefully we don't have to depend on just getting break Zoroark. But I suppose we'll never find out if we do get him or not until we start opening up this card, so let's go on with the first one, and I'm gonna start it off fresh with the uh, break evolution one, because I'm a little bit superstitious, I guess, when it comes to opening card or booster packs, because I believe usually that the really rare card that's on, like, the this thing, so for example, in this pack, you'd get Mega Mewtwo X, even though it's completely untrue, that's just me, but we're gonna start off this one with a Spupa. Oh, look at how nice and clear that is, man. It took me way too long to figure out how to record these right but we got 
Trainer Skyla, oh my gosh, I just remembered. There is actually a full art Skyla in this set. That would be so cool to get. Uh, but next up, we've got Starmie with a really awesome 3D artwork there. That actually looks sick. We got Starly, wait, Starmie and Starly. Whoa, that's so weird. They could have ended up being evolutions of each other, except one's a bird, one's a star, starfish rather. Uh, we got Swinub, we have Inkay. Pretty sure we've seen this card before though, what the heck? I don't know, I guess it looks like a previous one that we had. Uh, Panjam, which we've also definitely seen before, but a new artwork and card for him. And Panseer, now we're gonna get to our Reverse Hollow Grand Bull, and our rare card for the very first pack in Breakthrough is going to be Aroma Tease. Oh my gosh, like the name implies, it is just a tease and Aroma Tease. And that's our first card. Alright, maybe Mega Mewtwo X will give us a little bit of better luck, and I should try to make sure not to show off the online code this time, so I'm gonna set that one aside. But like I said, guys, if you want a chance to win that, hit me up on Twitter. I actually have a bunch of leftover codes, I think, so uh, I might just give away more than just the nine that come in this one. But starting off with the second pack, Mega Mewtwo X is gonna give us another Spupa. Ooh, breaks in. The next one, though, is a special energy. It looks like it's called Rainbow Energy. The artwork for it looks really sick. I got no idea what it does, but it looks cool, and I like that. So now we have LGM, which is a really cool Pokemon, actually. I've never gotten a chance to use one, but maybe one day, guys. Hint, hint, wink, wink. We got Axew next up. Definitely one that I've used. Oh my gosh. I can see that there's a rare card in here already. Oh... Well, Froakie is here, okay? So we gotta worry about him before we get to any rare cards. There's also Mystery Vis. The tension is literally killing me, man, because I really like looking at the artwork for all the new cards, but I just, I wanna get to the rares, and so, hoot hoot, I'm sorry, friend. Oh. oh my. What was I just saying about the pack with Mewtwo having Mewtwo in it? Because this one's got Mewtwo in it. It's actually got Mewtwo EX, which is not quite Mega Mewtwo X. I mean, it's got X in there, but, you know, it's not quite the same thing. Shatter Shot and Damage Change, you can read all that if you want. But Mega Mewtwo X, or actually it's not a Mega Evolution. I keep saying that, but it's not a Mega, guys. Maybe we'll get the Mega, though. I really have a good feeling about it, or at least a Break Evolution would be cool, too. I completely ignored this Reverse Hollow Remory, by the way. Uh... Yes, yeah, Rem Raid. On the real though, here's Mega Houndoom. I actually didn't even know that Mega Houndoom was in this expansion, but I guess he's one of the Megas that are in it. Did they ever even make an expansion with like Mega Swamper? I feel like he's never been in it. Or Mega Blaziken actually, only Sceptile. So that's kind of weird, but I don't know. We're gonna start off this one with a Piloswine. We got Floet. Ooh, this is a really pretty card. Oh, it's a regular fire energy, but if your attack requires you to discard an energy, you can just put it right back to the Pokemon at the end of the turn. That's actually really, really good if you have, like, a fire-type deck. But we're gonna move on to another fire, which is Cyndaquil. Oh, he's so cute, man. Cyndaquil's definitely one of the cutest starters. The cutest in the second generation um, Johto games. I almost forgot the name of the region, man. That would have been bad, but... We got Sprixie next up. The Remory that we got earlier now gets another chance at the spotlight, and so does Axu, apparently. Woobat, that's a new card there. Nothing too great about it, but I guess it's a new card. And our rare card for this pack is going to be... What? Glalie EX, full art as well. Oh, it even has that, like, really nice texture that I like. Actually, it doesn't. Usually, the full arts have, like, this really raspy, weird texture, but... This one, regardless, is really awesome. Glalie's not a Pokemon that gets too much uh, spotlight, I would say, but I guess that might mean that Mega Glalie is in this pack as well. So where the heck are Mega Swampert and Mega Blaziken? I feel like they would have done those before any of these, but I don't know, dude. While this card is awesome, and so is Mega Mewtwo, or sorry, just Mewtwo EX, I am a little bit worried because you don't really tend to get that many rares in one same pack or one same booster box or elite trainer box in this case the point is i really am scared that these are going to be my only two rares and we already got them out they're good cards but mega evolution though only one way to find out boys and that is to keep on unpacking them and not show off the booster online codes i can never say things right like i'm just so bad at saying what I'm supposed to say. Alright, we got a new card though, and that is Deden or Dedene. I actually still never figured out how to say that one, but I like him. He's pretty nice. Uh, Prinplup. We got a bunch of starters in this one by the looks of things. We have like Cyndaquil so far, Froakie, Breaks in. Now Prinplup, Haunter, not a starter though, but 
still uh, pretty awesome. I actually really like the art for that one as well. I just like the ones with like the thick outlines, I guess, because it reminds me of the way that I guess I kind of draw. Uh, but either way, here is Goldeen. Not much to see there. Not much to see with this Teddy Ursa either. Yeah, flop. That sounds like a... Uh, uh, Scatterbug, he didn't flop, he tackled instead. We have Ralts, which we got uh, Reverse Hollow earlier, but I don't think it was the same card actually, so we got two different Ralts. Yeah, the other one was Psychic type, this one's Fairy. But we have Pan Sage now, and what the heck is this? What is, what? What is happening right, what, can you, can you look at this? I have a, this is, this is a break card. We actually got a break card, break evolution, Chestnut, so it adds a whole new attack to the Pokemon, in this case for Chestnut, Tough Hammer, I hope you guys can see what it says there, because I sure can't, but Chestnut Break, it says it up there as well, uh, yeah, you can definitely see it there, looks really, really sweet, but we still have one more card in here, and that is going to be Bronzong, but forget Bronzong, because this looks so awesome, man, what, now I wish I had a Chestnut, so we could actually show off how this works, but, hey, we got a break evolution, we got two EXs so far, this is a good elite trainer box, like I already wrote this off, this is, this, uh, this is all I want to do. Which means that these four packs that still remain mean nothing to me, we don't even have to open them, just kidding, because there could definitely still be some good cards in here, and I'm actually going to leave uh, the Mega Mewtwo Y till the very ending because, I don't know, like I said, he's my favorite and I'm superstitious, so whatever, just deal with it, okay bro? I actually don't even know who this is, did she like make the box system in Hoenn? I'm gonna assume that's probably what she did, but next up we've got the uh, Vanilla Cone, Vanilish, Ice Edge and Icy Wind on that one, just make sure he doesn't give you the Vanilla Cone if you know what I'm saying. Whoa, this Quilava is really awesome, I just, the artwork dude, the artwork for some reason, but aside from looks, uh, also a pretty cool card, maybe we'll get Typhlosion later on, that would be pretty uh, tight, but we got Hoot Hoot here, we have yet another Cyndaquil, yet another Spritzy, yet another Remoraid, yet another Axu, <sighs> disappointing to say the least, but we have a Reverse Hollow Curlio, which is actually really hard to see the moves on that, but maybe you can, finally we have Zoroark though, Actually, a hollow Zorwork as well. That is really cool, man. Ah, oh, so we have the break chestnut, but a regular Zorwork. If this was, you know, if we gotten break Zorwork, pretty sure how it works with break evolution is you like put this card over it like this. So the whole card would look like this. I don't know if it takes up your evolution for that turn. I actually didn't look that up, but from what I heard, uh, he, they get more HP, they get a whole new move, and then you can still use the old moves that the other card had, so sounds pretty awesome to me, unfortunately this is a Chestnut and a Zoroark, so that's not really gonna work out, cause those Pokemon don't evolve from each other, but what can you do man, got a Break Evolution and two EXs, that's already pretty good for me, but we got three more packs, that's six, there we go. Boys and girls, our next pack is going to start off with the Prinblub and his Icy Beam. Ooh, Sand Slash. All right, I like this. Finally, we're getting some new cards that we haven't seen before. That is really awesome artwork as well. But Quilladin is here. Now we just need uh, Chespin and Chestnut, and then we got the Break Evolution, so we'll be good to go. Bronzor to go with that Bronzong that we got earlier. A uh, nice girl riding on Skiddo action. That's looking pretty awesome. I would love to ride on a Skiddo, by the way, but... Here is Staryu uh, hanging out at the bay of some kind of city in the background, maybe Castilia, I don't know, this is Omega Ruby, so that wouldn't really make sense, but here's Paris, Doduo, and our rare card is going to be a Reverse Hollow Banalux, or Banalux, sorry, you get the double scoop with this one, man, so if you were worried about that Vanilla Cone from earlier, now you get two scoops, man, but our actual rare card, because this was just a Reverse Hollow, is gonna be, are you serious? I don't think this has ever happened to me before. Okay, wait, maybe once, but it's a really rare occasion is what I'm saying. That in one booster pack, you end up getting the same card. But now only Mega Mewtwo Y remains. We've actually got two of them still stacked up here. So hopefully the luck is with me. Like I said, my superstition of the good cards being in the ones I saved for last might be coming to an end here. I think maybe in like 9 out of 10 unboxing videos that I've done, the good cards are always at the very, very end. But I guess maybe this one is the difference. Maybe it's because of this reserve ticket. They reserve their right to be at the beginning of the video instead of the 
ending, I guess. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense, but here's a Curlia dancing it up. I think we got this one as a hollow or reverse hollow. Vanillite! Yay! We got the whole vanilla cone line now. We got the little scoop. We got the double scoop. Here's Panpour, though. Uh, we've gotten all three of the little monkeys now, I think. Ralt's playing with some Minecraft blocks. Actually, Lego or... They're not even Lego or Minecraft. I don't know what I'm trying to make a reference to, but here is Zorua. So, we have that evolution. Now, if we could get Break Zoroark... That would just make my day, but I know it's not gonna happen, so here is Meowth instead, crying out to the- in the desert. Dude, who left this guy out to rot in the desert like that? That is messed up, bro. Exhausted tackle, too. That's just really bad, but we have our third Spoopa, I think, of this, uh, Elite Trainer box so far, but actually a Reverse Hollow, and finally, we have, holy moly, a Holographic Haxorus. What? This is so cool. I don't think I've ever gotten a Haxorus card before. Like, I have a binder with all of them in alphabetical order, and I'm pretty sure there's no Haxorus in there. So, for the first time, Axe himself, the Haxorus, is going to be joining the party. Is that what I named my Axu? I, I don't even remember, man. This makes me sad. But you know what's not sad is that we still have one more pack to open, and I have a really good feeling about it. I really do think we're going to end up getting at least... One more really rare card. FBS Sea King is going to start off this pack with their uh, Soaking Horn and Reckless Charge. Man, those sound like really nice attacks. You have a good time with those. What is this? What the heck kind of card is what? So you can choose which way you want to play this card. So you can literally play it like this, or you can flip it around and then play it like this. And it has a whole different set of rules. So if you guys want to pause and read for each one of those, that would be great. Uh, because I honestly can't read him. That's the one downside. I can finally show off the cards in detail. But anyway, moving on from Parallel City. That is a really cool card, though. But we got to move on at some point. And that is to Fracture. So now we have the whole fam here. We had a bunch of uh, Axus, now Fracture, and of course that Haxorus that we got just in the last pack. But really, Remoraid? Really, dude? Really, Axu? You're in, you've been in like almost every single pack so far. Ah, well, there goes Woobat. Golding, Teddy Ursa, our Reverse Hollow is going to be a Knocked Owl for all those Hoot Hoots that we got earlier. And finally, the last card in the entire pack. Why? Why? Why do you do this to me, man? Why do you troll me, Pokemon? Uh, well, I was trolled twice, guys. We got two Knocked Owls right after getting, like, two Vanillites. I'm pretty sure it was, but... I guess, all in all, I can't say that was uh, not a good pack opening because we got a Break Evolution, which was my goal, aside from Omega. We didn't get Omega, but we did get Mewtwo EX. So now, Glalie was the other one that we got, uh, the full art, actually. The only full art that we got. And finally, I threw in the Zoroark because I thought it was really cool and it was a hollow as well. That was pretty much it for this Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the new setup in which I'm doing this. So if you do, let me know in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next unboxing. Peace. Say sorry. You know that you are a body. Oh.